This evening I'm going to make a video showing a Raspberry Pi 3 running uh, Raspbian and Jesse and Open Web RX by Andres uh, Ritzler and uh, see if we can make this actually show. We'll have to start it from an SSH window. We'll get into the directory and we'll type the, uh, the starting setup there to make it run. Alright, you can see that it succeeded and our receiver is soon to be listed on SDRHU. We'll come over here and grab a web browser. Maybe. And we'll bring up a uh, an open web RX. And this is how it starts. We've got a fairly strong signal over here, so we'll move over here. We'll zoom in on that a little bit. And they quit talking about the time I went to look for it. But this is how you would tune to it is with the mouse pointer. You can see in the lower left hand corner that we have our actual receiver. We can open and close this stuff. Make our screen work the way we want it to. I'll switch over to CW. I'll zoom back out. Get over here in the CW band area. And I'll zoom in all the way. I'll maximize this window so we can see a little better. get a signal. We'll tighten up on it a bit. It's a little rough to tune on CW. Moves 100 hertz steps. Alright, that would be interesting. Anyway, that's what it looks like. We can zoom in. I've got this suggested to zoom in in eight steps. So we can back out gradually. And that's all the way out. So that's completely out. This is maximum in. And this is maximum out. We'll go back to lower sideband and see if we can pick out a signal here. They quit talking every time I tune in on them. Oh, I understand, but Mars used to be a, a donate a lot of hours in, in, in 40 years on Mars and done a lot of tree down there, but uh, I, kind of, I kind of dropped out of here a couple of years ago when they started going at all on this new, uh, new, new tech tour. And you can adjust your, your single sideband uh, uh, bandwidth. It's, uh, every, everybody's, you know, simply by doing that. And I won't demonstrate FM because this is set up to uh, receive 300 uh, kilohertz on the 40 meter band. So I'll simply show the functions of that. We'll go over and get this guy here. And we can adjust a little bit the waterfall colors. I'm going to make a little more drive, put a little more red into it. And I'll back off a little bit of the snow. So I'll give you an idea what you can do with that. You can adjust that more or less to the way you think it should look. Or use the defaults the way it's set up, which actually looks pretty good and makes a nice looking waterfall. There's a squelch feature here. On a weak signal like this, if you set the squelch, you probably lose the signal. But this does work good for FM. You can mute the audio. 
you can turn the audio back on. And if we had an AM signal, I'd, I'd show you some AM, but I don't believe we have one. So that's kind of how WebRx works. And we can just uh, go over here to uh, the website uh, simply by clicking on that. And we can see the receivers that are currently listed. There are a lot more receivers than that in the world, but these are the ones that are actually listed on the site tonight. It looks like we have 25 receivers with 19 people listening according to this uh, server page. I'll just quiet this down. This is KA7U and I just wanted you to see how Andres Retzler's OpenWebRx actually works operating on a Raspberry Pi 3 using a RTL DVB dongle, one of those little $20 dongles, and a, a good 40-meter antenna. So that's, uh, that's the way it looks like, folks. K7U, and I will click.